Just here with Matt Bowen. Matt, first things first, how's the leg, mate? Broke at a pretty vital time, unfortunately. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was pretty bad timing. But um, before then, I've been really lucky with it with injuries. So, um, you know, I can't complain too much. But the leg's good now, 100%. Um, I was saying to a few other guys just then, it was really close to playing against the Bulldogs, but in that semi-final, but just just not quite ready. So, um, but now 100%, and, and looking forward to starting 2015 and the, the pre-season and. and you know, getting back into the training and really focusing on improving my game and, and you know the team's welfare in, in 2015. So it's exciting times. Sounds like your throat's better as well. Yeah, the, th the throat has improved a lot. Yeah, that was another injury in in 2014 that um, it was a weird one, but um, but yeah, I'm really pleased to have my voice back now, and it, it makes you appreciate what you've got um, when you lose your voice. So yeah, it was it rattled me for a while, but now it's good. So. Enough and obviously a big year for uh, the Seagulls coming up 2015. A lot of fair bit of leadership experience obviously in Chockey and Gifty but do you feel that you'll probably have to step up this year a bit as a senior player? Yeah probably I think not just myself there'll be you know a lot of players that, that have had one more year experience in 20, 2014 and and can add some more to the club so you know we going in and, and, and Filetti Mateo from the Warriors so all those guys are going to bring experience and and some different knowledges or some different points of view about rugby league that, that we can feed off. So I think it's everyone's responsibility and, and you know I'll be I'll be looking to do that as well and and uh, you know keep improving my game and, and the team's uh, overall performance hopefully. What about those the two pretty big buys, Willie and uh, uh, Willie and uh, Matteo? Uh, you must be excited to link up with. Them. They're great players, you know. Um, both of them are quite different and. And, and Willie, as we've seen, is, is quite flamboyant, and, and he and he brings a lot of energy and and just excitement to footy and the games and, and training probably more more so that it's going to keep everyone excited and and on their toes. So and, and then Flatty Mateo, you know, just a great ball player. Looking forward to, to playing him with him around the around the ruck there. I mean, a hooker and, and you know just getting some of his offloads and, and looking to promote some second phase play off him. So um, I think it's going to be great for the club to have these two new guys and. And, you know, it's, it's only good to have some more young guys coming through as well in, in the juniors so with Jake Travojevic and, and some other young guys like Huey that's here today. So very exciting times. It must be good to have someone like Willie in the middle. I mean, a lot of the time, Willie touched on the middle, had a bit of problems last year. You were often doing 40 tackles a game. must be good to have someone like that have it tightened up, helping you tighten it up. Yeah, well, they won't be running at him. They'll be running at me now that he's a big bloke. So, um, no, but it is good, you know, having some big bodies around the middle of the field and... And you know, as you said, it was probably a little bit of an issue for us last year, um, and hopefully we can we can improve that this year, and, and you know, be really strong in the middle, and, and which we've been known for in the past. So, um, you know, it's great to have him here, and, and you know, looking forward to, the, to training with him and over the next few weeks. Tell me a bit about Drake Tavoyevich. There's been a lot of stuff for the last couple of years, but obviously made his debut in I think it was 2013, and last year ruined by injury. How exciting to, would it be to potentially have him back in the side regularly? Oh yeah, I think he's a really, really great talent that's coming through. You know, he's only young, and he's got a lot of time to go before he, before he probably matures completely as a footy player. But um, he's just a tough young kid that works hard. Calling him, he hits hard and, and he's, and he can run the ball strongly and offload. So, you know, mainly I will take their time with him and make sure he's ready. And um, you know, I'm really excited to, to play. And, and you know, see him develop as a footy player. You circles a few stories circulating last year about him being like the, the wrestling champion at the club for a long time. That he could beat guys like Chockey and and, and Stevie Maddai, despite the fact they had years of experience on him. <laughs> well, Stevie Maddai never wrestled, so that was a lie. Whoever said that, but um, I don't know about Anthony Watmo. Chockey's probably been the, the king of our wrestling for a long time. So I, I, I'd offend him if I say he beat him, but I didn't actually see that wrestle. But um, but yeah, he's just a big, solid bloke. You can't move him, you know. He's just a block and. Um, his dad, well, his dad's the same, and, and they've just got some great genetics that they're working with. And, and then Tommy is, is his younger brother, that's a fullback and and a guy who really can sniff out a try. So he'll be around in a couple more years, I think. And and Jakey will hopefully be playing this year. Yeah, obviously, obviously Tommy Travoy would be a very good, exciting backline prospect. And then he's obviously young, Cle uh, young Clint Gutherson, who was very good in the back end of last year in his cameo appearances. Maybe we could see some more appearances from him as well. Yeah, I definitely think Guth will be in the team, you know, a lot more frequently this year. And um, you know, like you said, he showed some great, great abilities to score tries and break the line. I can remember one uh, kick return he did against the West Tigers last year. He set up a try for Brett Stewart, just broke straight through the line and, and you know, set it up. So he's got a great future. He's only a, only a young kid again, and, and you know, he's not fully mature as well. He's he's got a lot of growing to do and a lot of bulking up to do. And and you know, I can only can only see better things ahead for Clint.
And tell me about young Huey, who was there at the press conference with us today. Yep. Yeah, he was a young hooker, and uh, he's been at the club for a year, I think, and, and just a great young, promising, promising hooker, and he's played a lot of the 20s last year. Very good out of dummy half, nice and fast, and got a good pass on him. So, you know, he'll be he'll, him and, and Jaden Hodges will be we training with myself this year. Looking forward to having a bit of competition with both of those guys. A couple of young blokes keep on your toes. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm getting old now, so these young blokes they, they keep coming. But, um, but you know, I've really enjoyed the time with, with all the young guys and and the and the senior guys at the club. So um, I think we've got a great mix, and looking forward to the year.